Welcome to Africa. Please choose a landscape to explore. Hey, I see the controller on my screen. Who knows? It might be helpful when you. I wish we had. I wish there was a dance dance revolution on the. on this PS4 thing. Uh, Jess, don't. Do I know. I know, I just don't want the cords to be wrapped around. Rainbow. Oh, yeah, I see it too. Dale says hi. Hi, Dale. Yes? I'm starting now. Hi. Hi to everybody. Hi, I'm Jess, but you all can call me Galaxy Lover. And no. Wait, wait, did she say hi? I'm doing the monkeys. Do the monkeys. Before we start your experience, please say how you're feeling. This will show how engagement with nature improves your mood. Ooh. Near here is a group of baboons. Let's hang some watermelon from this tree and see what they do. To hang the watermelon, please shake your controller now. Good. Baboons live mostly on the ground and forage for plants and small animals. What do you mean? So will they go for watermelon or the tree? <sighs> Let's see. Oh, I see them. <laughs> well, that was fast. What's he going to do now? Do it. I don't want to watch it. Oh, shit. It looks like he's noticed our camera, but what does he want to do with it? Shell's on. Mmm, <laughs> camera, delicious. We only have one camera, please don't break it. Oh no. Ow. Okay. So the baboon was smarter than us and broke our camera mount. Never mind, we can fix it. Now these are olive baboons, and you've got really close to them. So, you might be interested in the answer to this. What is the conservation status of olive baboons? Yes, I'm happy to say that you're right. Surprisingly, olive baboons are abundant. So many animals are endangered or vulnerable, it's good to know that these guys are doing well. And you can see why. They're fast, clever, and very adaptable. 
and they're not afraid of cameras. Please I'm watch them for a little longer, or use your controller to go back to the home page. How do I go back? Which one circle? Um, oh, never mind. <laughs> Who wants to see some giraffes? In front of you is a giraffe with rather unusual tastes. She loves oranges. So to give her two oranges, please shake your controller two times now. Great. Now her name is Nditu, and she's a bit shy. So to get her to come over, just call out Nditu, Nditu. Try now. In D2, in D2. When in D2 was very young, she was found wandering alone. Her mother was never found, and so she was raised by humans. She's now five years old, and she's starting to live like a normal wild giraffe. But she still responds to her human name. And as you see, she still loves oranges. Let's see if she takes the other one. Adjusting. Yes, she did. Very good. Inditu is a species of giraffe called a reticulated giraffe. Reticulated just means that the pattern on her skin is like a net. Now, what do you think? How many left? Reticulated? Yes, I'm afraid that's right. Giraffe numbers are dropping dramatically. Wait. I need a Poachers set. kill them for their skin and their meat. A set. Maybe this is what happened to Inditu's yes. mother. We'll never know. But Inditu now lives in a wildlife conservancy, so she should be safe. And you fed her some of her favorite food. Uh, uh, can I... Uh, is it? Stop, stop. Is it? Huh. Huh. I hear you. Stood up. What do you see over there? So you gotta talk about the giraffe. The giraffe is very beautiful. Who wants to see some hyenas?
We've been told there are hyenas near here. Let's throw down some butcher's meat, then maybe a hyena will come. To throw down the meat, just shake your controller now. Great, but let's give us some more. So please, shake your controller again, now. And now, please shake one last time. Good. And now, we just have to wait. No. Now look around. There's a hyena coming. Now, of course, the meat you threw down is not a whole dead animal, like a hyena would normally eat. It's just meat from a butcher. So the hyena may not want to take it. But let's see. Yes, she likes it. But will she come back and take all the meat? Let's wait and see. Yeah. Now here's a question for you about people and what we think. You or I might love hyenas like our friend here. Well, I see why you might think that, but I don't really agree. Oh, it's pretty clear. Yes, I agree. But in some ways, their unpopularity with people has actually been rather good for hyenas like this one. Many people love lions, elephants and rhinos, so they've killed them in vast numbers for their skin, tusks and horns. But it's been rare for people to kill hyenas like this one for her skin or teeth. Unpopularity with people is one reason why today Hyenas like her are less endangered than other big animals in Africa. The other reason is she's clever, strong and fast and can eat almost anything. Including the meat you threw down for her. You've certainly improved her day. Watch her while she checks out the camera and the strange smell of humans all around it. Or use your controller to go back to the home page. <clears throat> I don't know. Says, I like tigers and giraffes. They're my favorite animals. Too big to ah. What is Thanks for spending time animal? with us. Please just say how. I won't see uh, any tigers. Uh, no. There might be. There's another.
Hitler. Do that one. We've seen a cheetah near here. To get her to come over to us, we've been given special permission to throw down some meat. So please shake your controller now. Good, we're in Kenya, north of the border with Tanzania. The kind of cheetah that lives in this region is called the Tanzanian cheetah. Now people have loved cheetahs for centuries. So what do you think? Around the world, how many? Yes, you're right. Of course, there are other kinds of cheetahs in zoos, but the number of Tanzanian cheetahs is zero. And there are less than 2,000 of them left in the wild. But look, here comes one right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, the cheetah was too cool to eat our meat, but other animals won't be so choosy, and we did get to see a cheetah up close. Wait, well, what? Reminds me of my kitty, kitty, kitty. Little girl. She's like a cheetah. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Who wants to see some buffalo and rhino? Aww. We've been told there are lions near here. To bring them out, we've been given permission to lay down some meat we bought from a butcher. Why the elephants the meat, first? Please shake your controller now. Very good. Now let's wait for the lions. It's now 30 minutes later. No lions. And they probably won't come out now. Because we've got something much bigger. Look at that. Of course, elephants only eat plants, so this elephant is not going to eat the meat. But it does seem like she's fascinated by the smell of it. These elephants are completely wild. Naturally, they come across dead animals all the time, but they don't come across meat prepared by a butcher. So that's probably why they find it interesting. Look around. You see a mother has come with her baby. This tells us that the meat doesn't worry the elephants because the mother wouldn't bring her baby so close to it if she thought it was a threat. So these elephants have had enough. Will any others come? Let's see. Yes, look around. Here's another one who's fascinated by the meat you dropped. Look, 
She's just picked up a stick. Now that's not just any stick. When we were filming, we used that stick as a target for dropping the meat. So now it's got our human smell on it. That must be why she finds it interesting. You see how she can hold a tiny stick with her trunk? That trunk is also strong enough to knock down a tree. Look around. Here's another one. Now, of course, the body of an elephant like this is big. But what about her brain? Well, here's a brain teaser for you. Whose brain is heavier? An elephant's or... Yes, you're right. The average elephant brain is about three times heavier than the average human brain. It's a reminder of why it's so tragic that people have killed so many of these very intelligent animals. Fifty years ago, there were between one and a half and three million elephants in Africa. And now, you might be surprised by the answer to this. How many elephants are there in Africa today? Yes, I'm afraid you're right. Now, there are less than 400,000 elephants in Africa. Yeah. Here's one last elephant who wants to get up close to the meat and the camera. But what about the meat you threw down? Don't worry, it won't be wasted. Hyenas will eat the meat tonight, once the elephants have gone. Near here is an African buffalo. Let's offer her some food. Just shake your controller now. Very good. That is a plant called alfalfa, which is often used to feed animals. But let's also try offering the buffalo some bananas and see if she's bananas. interested in them. Just shake your controller two more times now. Great. Now let's bananas. see if she wants to eat our food. And here she comes. This is an African or Cape buffalo. She looks like the cows and bulls which you see on farms. So what do you think about this? Have African buffaloes ever been domestic? That makes sense. Yes, you got it right. African buffaloes may remind us of cows on farms, but in fact, they are one of the most dangerous animals in Africa. They are enormously powerful. Males defend their herd aggressively. These buffaloes are very tough, and no, they have not been domesticated. But what about this African buffalo? Will she go for the food we've offered her? Checking out the food? Checking out the camera? No, you need to wipe your nose, man. And she's eating. Ah, no she's not. No, she isn't interested. So let's try offering alfalfa to an even bigger animal. Near here, there's a ten-year-old black rhino. So shake your controller and we'll see if he wants the alfalfa. Very good. And here he comes. He's taking his time getting here. So what do you think about this? 
Elvis! Oh, can this black rhino... Well, looking at him now... Yes, you're exactly right. Did you... Love you too. can run at 35 miles an hour. But this one Love you too. Did you do this, Elvis? Did you do this, Elvis? Oops. Big insect in your face. And yes, the rhino does like our alfalfa. Insect on the screen. No, but look down there. I know. Did now, you do that? Unusual name. He's called Elvis. His mother was blind. Rhinos usually have poor eyesight, but completely. Did you do that? It's very hard to raise a young rhino. So Elvis was adopted by people, and they named him after the music star Elvis Presley, because the little rhino was also a star. Elvis is now 10 years old, and like a normal wild rhino, he now lives away from people. But is he safe? Well, what do you think? What's the conservation status of black rhinos like Elvis? Are they... Yes, I'm afraid you're right. There are fewer than 6,000 black rhinos left. That's down from an estimated 70,000 50 years ago, and there was a serious chance of them becoming extinct in the wild in the near future. Black rhinos can certainly fight, but they have no defense against guns, and poachers make a fortune by killing rhinos and selling their horns illegally. People buy rhino horn because of the superstitious belief that it can help with medical problems. This is ridiculous, because rhino horn is actually just compressed hair. You could just as well eat your own hair. But our friend Elvis lives in a well-protected nature conservancy, which has a great record of defeating poachers. And Elvis has had a good meal. Maybe the alfalfa wasn't right for the African buffalo, but it looks like Elvis loved it. What a star. Did you do that? Elvis? Elvis? Did you do that? Baby Rhino. He's a one-year-old baby rhino. His mother wasn't able to look after him, so now he's raised by people. And it's time for his daily bottle of milk. To get him going, just call out in a clear voice, Kitui, Kitui, try now. Kitui, Kitui. Great. Let's see what he does. He seems more interested in the camera than in his milk. Ah! Okay, he tried eating the camera, but now he's decided to just drink his milk. Very good. Katui is a black rhino. Once, there used to be several types of black rhino. One of them was called the Western black rhino, but now it's extinct. And you might be shocked by the answer to this. When was the Western black rhino? Yes, that's right. The Western black rhino was declared extinct in 2011. They lived in Africa for about 7 million years. A hundred years ago, they were about... 850,000 of them, and now there are none. Humans hunted them to extinction. Katui here is an eastern black rhino. There are only about 750 of them left. But his chances are good 
because he lives in a wildlife reserve protected by armed yeah. rangers. Yeah. Hopefully, he will help to stop eastern black rhinos going the way of their Thank western you. cousins. And today, Katui's having a good day because you gave him some milk. I just can't see it. <laughs> I still need to take breaks Yes. This is just scenery. Okay, well, yeah. Alright. I want to thank y'all for coming. This is Jess. Peace. Keep smiling. Keep, keep smiling. Be awesome. Wait, what did Cheryl say? She said more. Okay. We'll be back in five minutes. We'll be back in five minutes with part two. Remember to keep, to keep remember to keep smiling and always be awesome. And always be awesome. Later. Later. Bye. Say bye, Harm. Awesome. Oh. Later. Say bye, Harm. I'm blind. Thank you.